Hello everyone, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel Mindfully, Mindfully, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Today's video, which by the way, thank you for joining and spending time with me The today's video is going to be a get, 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 get to know me and question and answer, so answering your questions um, I popped out a thread the other day on my community part of my page. I really just learned how to use that as well. Um, I posted there the other day that I was thinking of doing a video like this. And yeah, if you had any questions, you could pop it below. I was really surprised. I really didn't think I'd get like any or much questions but there was a few of you that did so that made me really happy um because i had my, my boyfriend matt actually popped there a question and i was like look i'll run with that if you're the only one and i'll just you know find some questions on the internet and still do a video but it really surprised me with the few of you that asked me some really great questions and yeah which is nice i think it'll be enough for this video so truly truly thank you means world so I'm going to go through all the ones that people have asked and yeah, I hope you can find this video relaxing, relaxing, relaxing and maybe you can learn something new from a stranger on the side of the internet and yeah, sometimes it's nice to learn things that are new that you didn't know or you can learn things about someone so yeah, but even if you're not interested, hopefully you can have me in the background find this relaxing. We'll see how we go. Okay, let me take a drink before I begin. I had a brief overview of these questions. Um, some of them are quite like, uh, like deep, and I'm like, okay, I need to make sure I kind of know where I'm going with this because otherwise I'll be sitting here like a fruit fly and going. Hmm. So I don't want to spend too long just sort of pondering, but yeah. So, I wrote them down, by the way. I wrote them down because I'm using my phone to film, so they're all, they're all here. The first set of questions is from Rose, so Rose-XX9YH. Hi, Rose. <laughs> um, so, her questions were, first one was, what's one thing you'd like to accomplish in the rest of your lifetime? This is a big question because initially I'm like, there's all these little goals that I want to achieve and all that. But you know what? Ultimately, thinking now, as a collective, I just want to do things that feel true and happy, that make me happy, but it comes from within, it comes from here. Because a lot of my life, I've really struggled to trust myself, to believe in myself, to even like back myself with any ideas that I want to bring into fruition in my life and I've relied so heavily on everybody else's voices and ideas thinking that theirs is way better than what I would think because they know me better than me but over time over the last few years I'm like no I need to start trusting in here and only very recently especially with this ASMR channel you know that that's come from within that's come from myself and one thing I'm noticing is that when you choose things that come from your heart and come from your soul and you've chosen that, the way it's brought out and how it proceeds, it's so authentic and it comes so naturally off the palm of your hand and it just means more and it makes you happy. So in my lifetime, I just want to do things that feel right and that feel happy and authentic to me. I know that's quite broad, but honestly, how many times do we listen to the ideas of other people thinking, yeah, that's, that's right for us and we can believe it to a lot of the extent, but it hasn't felt from within. It's such a different feeling when you can choose your foot first and try it and see how it goes versus other people's opinions or, you know, choices. So I guess that's kind of where I want to go. But if I had to pick like a physical thing that I would want um, 
right now in the future i really want to start my own wellness like bar business and i know exactly when i want to call it and i really want that to hit off and i'm so passionate about health and wellness and eating and snacks and food I just, you know, really want to make a wellness bar company and just have with beautiful ingredients and something tasty that people can have to take with them on the go or maybe have as like a mid lunch with like other food and just things that are easy to digest and are delicious. And yeah, that's what I really want to do. It's one of my dreams, but that connects in with what I was saying at the start where like has to come from within. And that only came from myself. So that's something that I'd love to do. Um, And ultimately make a difference in the world, really. And I hope my channel here can make a difference in the world too. It means a lot. It really means a lot to be meaning and value in somebody's life. So yeah, that's probably not one thing. That was like three things. But they branched off each other. Yeah, I guess one was personal, one was more external of what I want other people to feel and stuff. Rose's next question is, if you could only pick one makeup product forever, what would it be? My lip balm. I don't know if it gets considered as a makeup product. I consider it as a makeup product, essentially, because it's a beauty item. And the reason why I choose it is because... I don't like the feeling of nothing on my lips. I just like them when they feel nourished, when they feel plump, when they feel good. I get really anxious when my lip balm's not on me. I've got a lip balm in my robe, um, but it's out there, so I was going to show you, but yeah. But I've got the packet for it. Um, The one that I love is from Dr. Bronner's. Their lip balms are amazing. My goodness, all organic oils are used and they just feel so nice on the lips and they don't leave them tacky or weird. Um, I'm also a natural like reapplier, I think, because I've just been so, I guess, um, attached (laughs) to lip balms, but that would be my go-to forever. Because ultimately, I, d- I don't really care much about, like, other products. Like, they're not, like, my holy grail. Like, right now, I've literally got lip balm on my lips. That's it. I've got nothing else on my skin. No concealer. No nothing. Moisturizer and a Fenty lip gloss. That's it. So, yeah. If you asked me this question, I think a few years back, because I was very into doing full face makeup, like for work and things, probably would have had, oh, you know what? No, I think I would have had a very similar answer, but I probably would have said like a certain lip product because I love lip stuff. So yeah, but ultimately now a lip balm. So I hope that counts. next question is favorite movie one at the top of my head which i love like all around but it is the holiday i feel like that's such a boring answer but the holiday with jude law cameron diaz jack black and kate winslet oh my god i love that movie i could watch that any time of the year it's so whimsical christmassy romancy and it's like oh, i love it and Jude Law is so hot in that. Um, just from start to finish, I love it. Um, that would be like the first movie I would pick, like top of my head. But I love the genre of horror films, like a lot. I'm a very big horror buff. And I guess in that kind of category, kind of the best horror movies I've seen so far because matt and i have been like watching so many um horror films and stuff over the last year and we kind of rate what we think but ones that have really got me and i would call it under my favorites would be hell house llc and deadstream 
So if you're kind of into horror films, check those two out. Everyone's going to have an ad a different opinion, but that's okay. Just, they're my two. Try it out. Let me know if you watch it and what you thought, because they got me good. Okay, so the next one she asked is Dream Holiday and Vacation Destination. I have a few because, to be honest, I haven't actually left Australia and I haven't been on a plane. So there are many places that I would like to go. Oh, it's raining. Oh, this might be nice for the video. I hope it doesn't bother you though, but it's raining. <laughs> it's so relaxing. Okay. Um, but I would love to go because my background and heritage is Italian. So I would love to go to Italy so much. In another life, I would love to live in Italy, have like a beautiful, like beautiful home with acres and like just grow my own organic food and just live a beautiful life and still be close to the city because I do like the city as well. Um, but just to experience, the rain is popping, but just to experience good food, good community, the fashion, the vibe. Oh, I would love that. Would love that. It is going off right now. <laughs> We're going to still roll with it, okay? So I'm sorry if the rain disturbs, but hopefully you find it relaxing because it's just... It's like overtaking what I hear in the mic. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to roll with it. Roll with the rain. Okay, you might not even hear it and be like, this weird, she's a weirdo. Okay. She's like dancing by herself. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> but yes, Italy and dream place to go. Would I want to go to Disneyland. I want to experience the magic. I want to go to Paris. And I also would love to go to Canada and the States because I've actually have, I have some friends there. So they're my dream places to go last one she asked is best piece of advice that I've been given I had to think about this one because I couldn't honestly think of something that someone has given me that I've taken on board but to be honest a lot of advice that I have in my mind has actually come from myself and my own suffering and the lessons that I've learned from my suffering and I guess advice that I still keep with me and I stick by and I also like sharing with other people so I'll share it with you be your own advocate for things in life right be your own best advocate because you know your body you know yourself you live in yourself 24 7 right and like trust that intuition because I, I want to try and explain why I say this um in 2020 ongoing but it's definitely gotten a lot better now but I was really struck with awful awful gut issues to the point where it was making me so panicked about my body I was having panic attacks every day because the gut issues were also triggering um my phobia of being sick and I was trapped in this cycle thinking that I was never going to get better my body was broken and I went to specialists, I went to doctors, I listened to family, I have a lot of nurses in my family and I had never felt so alone in my life and so cornered to think that this is it and there was so much of me that was like wanting to seek further answers and know more for myself and no one was really backing me besides Matt who was my, my, my boyfriend Matt, um, I hope for you to meet him one day um, and it was just me and I had to learn to block out what diagnoses were what people were saying for me to do and go you know what I'm gonna take my own limb trust my body and go you know what I'm gonna go to the bottom of this and see what other way there can be to heal and let me tell you by following that it opened up a plethora of all these other lanes and paths that actually help me get better and it's something I stick by all the time if you have any health concerns or you're struggling mentally or there's just something that you're personally going through that's something that you need help with but you've tried different outlets and you want to try something that maybe no one told you to do or someone's against doing but you want to try it trust yourself 
we get so scared to trust ourselves because sometimes it's, it's weird to say, but it's easier to blame someone else's opinion or perspective or choice for you than it is to blame ourselves. So for instance, like if a doctor says that you've got this issue, right? And then you realize that it wasn't that the whole time and you found this other way and whatever it's very easy to kind of go oh it was see they were wrong they were wrong I should trust myself but when we have the choice first of going okay I'm gonna pick this and even if you are wrong we can kind of get scared to like do that and trust ourselves because we don't want to feel like we're to blame if does that make sense like I felt more scared trusting myself because I was like if I'm wrong I'm never going to hear the end of it from everybody. But I was like, you know what? Who cares if I'm wrong? I really want to follow through with what I want to do. And yeah, I hope that makes sense. So I guess the kind of advice is trust yourself, be your own best advocate. And even if you're wrong, it's okay. Really, it's okay. We need to trust what we need to do. And we'll learn lessons from that and there are definitely some pathways that I chose that weren't the right ones but I felt better trusting my own gut than listening to something that didn't feel right or didn't feel like the answer does that make sense I felt I felt so nervous sharing that because I'm like I don't know if what I'm saying is like wrong or like I don't know I get scared I don't know I get scared of voicing my opinion sometimes so that was pretty big for me to share to a community so I'm proud of myself but yeah that's what I would say thank you Rose thank you darling for those questions I hope I've answered them well <laughs> the next two are by Maddie Walker hi Maddie and she has asked how would you describe your style so like my clothing and aesthetic wise <laughs> when I had this question, I um I told Matt that I'm like I got this question about my my style. I'm like this is going to be interesting to respond, and um because typically like I'm 27 and I am not the most fashionable person. And like in Melbourne, because I live in Melbourne, um and like in Australia, like there's a big part of it where everyone dresses really nice. Like if you go to the city, everyone's like together with fashion and clothes and all this stuff and they look really nice right then there's me and my style would be very mumsy I feel like I dress like a mum a mum that's like casual feminine a little bit daggy <laughs> a hint of sporty but just very floaty and comfortable like right now it's, it's hard because I feel like when I say mumsy, I feel like each country is going to have a different version of like what a mum style looks like. In Australia, I just feel like this is very Aussie style, <laughs> like like a mum, like middle aged, like 30s to 40s mum. It's hard to explain, but I'm wearing like a jumper, sweatshirt, and then I don't know if I can show you. Oh my god! I like I want to show you my outfit. I literally just tried to show you my outfit, but my camera fell, so that's not good. But like right now I'm wearing like a jumper sweatshirt then underneath I've got like a um like a singlet top that's like longer than the jumper and then I'm wearing like floaty with my slippers <laughs> I'm wearing like floaty pants like floaty pajama pants but you couldn't tell they were pajama pants until I told you but I would literally wear that sketches and I would wear that out in public legit that is my style as casual but it's quite feminine so I feel like when it comes to like summer or if I was to go out I'd you know wear like a nice floral dress with sandals anything that's just easy to pop on it's comfy if I have like if I have like a gut flare like a like IBS sort of things going on I don't have to worry about it being tight it's just casual fashionable mumsy cute feminine flowy <laughs> I hope that's enough but um yeah I love I love my style for now but I 
I said to Matt that I would love um, to get like a stylist one day and because the part of me that like struggles to just put clothes together because I dress so comfy and I want to dress a bit more bougie in my own style and my own body type so yeah but for now that's my style I dress like a mom basically <laughs> that's my style that's my aesthetic for now um but yeah feminine feminine mumsy next one from Maddie is what got you into filming ASMR well it's been a thing at the back of my mind for a long time so I started watching ASMR in late high school so I think 2013 2014 and um, I just loved how relaxing it was and just satisfying that it was and as time kind of grew on there was always a thought at the back of my mind going I'd love to just film my own stuff and people to watch my stuff but it was just never something serious um until I actually bought this mic because I wanted to do a podcast originally um I have a whole other different community uh, which I don't utilize as much anymore unfortunately I just wanted a break but on Instagram I have more of a health and wellness community and I wanted to do a podcast so I'm like I'm gonna buy a mic for it I never started the podcast I never did it just the mic sat on my desk for ages looking all pretty in its box and by staring at it every day and watching ASMR because I'm such a religious like ASMR watcher almost every day pretty much if it's during the day or at night I'm like let's just test this mic out and let's just like try and film a video and if we F up that's fine and I that's literally my first video that I posted my perfume collection that was my first time trying out the mic properly in a video and doing it and you know what I was so happy that I chose to and I knew I wanted to make ASMR be a hobby of mine and just do it for fun just without all the strings attached to making it you know super super serious but I'm starting to love it as a side thing so yeah that's what got me into filming and then just people liked it which was really nice I mean even if people didn't like it I like it so yeah that's my answer to that okay so the next questions are from Holly. Hi Holly. Um, the first one that she asked was quite similar to the ones um, by Maddie. No, 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 by Rose. By Rose. Um, so where do you want to most travel to? So I might leave that one out because I mentioned it before, but like Italy, Paris, Disneyland and the United States and Canada as well. Yeah, that's where I most want to travel to places I want to travel to what are your next one is what are your favorite asmr triggers that's one that holly asked i love anything that's tapping so if someone's got like long nails and they tap on like makeup products i love makeup products um i find them so tingly because they're quite like clicky can't explain it but i love makeup products um so tapping I like mouth sounds as well really clicky mouth sounds they're awesome love that and I like personal attention kind of videos like very interactive and like like that oh my god like the mouth sounds yeah. love that but tapping mostly oh and I don't have one but I would love to have you seen like on any other channel ASMR channel the little slug like the little rainbow slug and like it clicks like do you know what I'm talking about the little rainbow slug I want one because then I'll do a whole video on that but that's really nice anything clicky and tappy I love so yeah thank you Holly for those questions I'm sorry I didn't get to elaborate on your first one but it tied in with another one the next one is from tips and tricks tips and tricks for teens tips and tricks for teens and she's asked me what my favorite music artist is and also can you shout out my name of course hi isla <laughs> i love your name every time i think of isla i think of isla fisher it's a beautiful name so hi isla thank you for your question 
um, favorite music artist, Ariana Grande. I love her to bits. I've been such a fan of her since about 20, 2012, 2013, so very early days. Um, like when she released Honeymoon Avenue, all up now until her um, Eternal Sunshine. Oh my God, that took me a while. Eternal Sunshine album, because all I had in my head was AG7, so Ariana Grande 7, like her seventh album, and I'm like, what's it called? <laughs> Eternal Sunshine. Um, I love her so much. I'm so excited for Wicked. I saw the trailer for that yesterday. I got teary watching it. Like, that girl just... I normally don't get teary for like, like happiness, amazing teary, like just, she's so incredible and just like, I love her so much. I got to see her in concert in Australia in 2017 and she hasn't been here since, um, but she was amazing. Um, I got to be in like the mosh pit at the front and I've got some beautiful and amazing videos on my phone that I'm going to keep forever. Um, she was incredible, an incredible performer, love her stage presence, I just love who she is, just at a core, um, she's so beautiful, so yeah, Ariana Grande, I would love to meet her one day, I feel like chances are so slim, but you never know, but she's awesome, I've never had such a, I guess, woman to look up to at this age, I feel like when I was younger, you know, I had my... I had my artist. I loved like Hilary Duff. I loved Miley, all that. But now I'm like, no, Ariana has stayed with me for like the last 11 years. So yeah, would be her. The next ones are from Julia Mooney 162. Hi, Julia. Her questions were, what advice would you give to your younger self? I really liked this question. This was also a very deep question as well, like the first one from Rose. So this one, I thought about it because I actually struggled at first. Sometimes it's it's hard to think about what advice to give to yourself of what you needed. But after some time and as I'm working through it now, still as an adult, it's funny what our own like past can still bring up now. Um, and I've been my, on my own like self-development journey the last four years. So... I'm very aware of what goes on and sometimes I'm unconsciously I don't know um, what things go on but for now advice I'd give to myself would be to tell younger Sarah that she is so important everything she says thinks does wants feels is important and I just want her to know that so badly it's something that I'm actually trying to teach myself now because growing up, even still to this age, I feel like anything I do say is just so neglected and not important and not really cared about. And it really affects your self-esteem and your self-worth very much. Um, I wasn't really modeled growing up to feel important. Um, everything was just like brushed off or like not enough in the eyes of my family to their standards it was only ever enough when they thought it was enough and so I haven't really grown forward much with like knowing a lot of my self-worth and trusting myself and everything which is this answer relates a lot to um what I was saying in the first questions of like how I want to live the rest of my lifetime this really does relate um, because I want to feel important for myself and that's so difficult sometimes, well, a lot of the time. Um, so I would say to her, my younger self, my younger Sarah in me, she's still with me, how important she is, even if it's silly, even if it's wrong, <laughs> even if it's right, whatever it is, anything that makes her happy, sad, crying, even the weirdest thought in the world of like, I, I don't know, like it could be as basic as like, I want to wear a sock on my hand and like have fun with it and like play a sock puppet. And I'll be like, you know what? That's so cool. You do that. Let's do that. Like, you know what I mean? I just want 
my younger Sarah, even for me now, to just feel important, like things matter. And that's become such a sentimental part of me at the moment and working through that. Um, I literally had a big cry to Matt yesterday because it was such a breakthrough of discovering how much I don't think I'm important and I can really struggle with um, validating myself. And so I look for the validation from other people. Yeah, that's quite deep and raw, but really vulnerability goes a lot further than we think sometimes. Um, But yeah, that's what I would say. (laughs) It's a deep question, but yeah, thank you for that, Julia. I really liked that. Um, I guess to those watching, what advice would you give your younger self? Stay curious with that, even if the first initial thought is, I don't know dig deeper dig deeper that's always going to be our uh, initial reflexes i don't know that was mine i was like i don't know what that answer would be but the more i sat with it the more i thought the next question is who are your favorite asmr creators oh i actually um, i wrote these down as well by the way because there was too many i had to actually go into my subscriber um like who i subscribe to And I noted down six of my favorite. I wouldn't say that like these beat all the other people that I love. No, there's just so many people that I love that do ASMR. But these would be my go-tos or at least the ones that pop up on my feed a lot. Um, I love, hang on, I need a sip of water. When you talk too much, your mouth gets dry. Um, yeah. So my six favorite asmr creators is i love rage asmr rage 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 asmr i love her clicky whispers her voice and mouth sounds elite if you're very into mouth sounds and like clicky 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 talking she's perfect love her um asmr spring I just love her like youthful energy and I love her tapping halls and stuff. She has a lot of tapping videos and I really like that. So ASMR Spring. I love Kashmir ASMR. The reason why I love her is because she just, you don't really see her face much, but she just does like tapping videos. Like she'll do tapping on products or she'll do tapping outside. Like she'll tap on like the gravel or like out in public and stuff like awesome video if you're into just sounds rather than like talking and things i love lullaby leah asmr love her stuff just her aesthetic her vibe her setup love it simply kel um she's another aussie asmr creator love her content and she's just so like i love her energy she's very calm and quite like maternal i can't explain it um but just i love her vibe and yeah another fellow aussie creator um and the other one that i love who i see her more on tiktok to be honest but i do have i have subscribed to her is kiara's asmr so kiara k-e-a-r-a i'll pop them in the comments um in the sorry description so you can find them and look them up um but kiara's asmr she does such good videos like very clicky mouth sounds she's very cute and yeah love her channel so they would be the six that i would pick but there are so many other amazing ones you can't fit them all into like one category so they'd be ones to check out next question is by shay Hi Shay, so Shay Arts one seven six eight, and she says, "Do you watch ASMR yourself?" Yes, 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 yes. Every day, every day. At some point, whether I'm scrolling on the you know the YouTube like the homepage, there'll be some sort of ASMR video there because I watch it a lot. So it'll come up, and I'll even watch whether it's thirty seconds, a minute. I'm always having something, but ASMR is always featured somewhere, whether it's on TikTok, um, in the background for sleep. It comes into my life every day somehow. 
and I love it. Uh, it's like TV for me. It's so therapeutic to my brain, so relaxing, and I love it. I love it. Just, I don't always watch ASMR for sleep. I watch it just to chill and like fizzle out my brain. Um, and it can even just be ones like softly spoken. I don't mind. It's actually quite like comforting. So yeah, thanks for your question. And the last two are from my beloved little sweetheart. This is from Matt, um, my boyfriend, Matt George. <laughs> I love him so much. He's my biggest cheerleader and he wrote me two questions um, to ask. So, or to, well, he asked me two questions to answer. So, Matt, if you're watching, these are your answers. <laughs> so, his questions were, what have been your favorite sounds you've made so far? Good question. I feel silly because I didn't grab it out. So, I'm going to go have to go get it because it's in my room and it's it's up there so okay so I brought two out so the first one I tapped on in a tapping and rambling video that I did and it's the propolis I, I, call, I used to call this proprials uh but it's wrong propolis manuka honey spray it's really good for sore throat relief and it's a natural um form like uh like for traditional yeah, traditional sore throat really because it's got manuka honey and um, propolis, which is from bees. So, but this sounds amazing. this almost I think two times one in a no I think in like two videos and in like a shorts but it would be the Sol de Janeiro um Brazilian crush mists I've got one in 62 and the 68 one as well very fruity very sweet love that one but the sound of this is so good So like clacky. I did this one recently in uh, my this or that video. from Matt is my favorite thing to do besides ASMR well because <laughs> honestly recently ASMR has become such a hobby of mine because before this I'm like I was trying to figure out what it would be um because yeah but I guess as a whole I love anything to do with making food making breakfast lunch dinner if I have like you know a, a, a made lunch sort of thing um I love to cook like to make things I like to get very creative in the kitchen and make things and just yeah that's a really nice hobby of mine that I like um favorite thing to do though but honestly like just doing what Sarah wants so even if that's going for a walk or just chilling out on in my bedroom like on my phone or like just 
the little things on my own terms makes me really happy um yeah i guess yeah like fave things to do besides asmr that's kind of yeah it i guess that sounds so boring <laughs> but like yeah i guess cooking i love i love my walks i love doing that I, like walking is my favorite form of exercise um just traveling to different places and seeing nature and different things makes me so happy and just spending time with people that make me happy even though my circle is very very small very small um just yeah makes me happy being around people who bring out the best in me makes me happy so yeah they're my fave things to do um and yeah i guess with that said that is the end of the q and a that i got so i just want to thank you again to everyone who sent in a question to me um i don't know do you like videos like this would you like one like later in the future or something you can let me know um but yeah i really hope that you enjoyed and found it i guess relaxing or interesting um but yeah i just really want to thank you for being here if you stuck around for this long because <laughs> i do ramble and talk a lot um be sure to subscribe if you like videos like asmr videos similar to this um yeah i'm thinking so many more things for this channel like where i want to take it and things because i've called it mindfully sarah to be a bit more broad so i'm thinking of just different things that i want to include and i want to do but for now i think asmr is doing pretty good so i hope that you enjoy today's video and that you have a good rest of your day or a good sleep and i will speak to you